You have not paid house rent. So that is it. It's going to a full month now. One month. Plus. One month plus. Yeah. So when did your husband uh, give him the quick notice to leave the house? Is it after he came from the isolation center? Yeah. When he came. How long has he been staying in your house before this incident? He has been staying here for more than one year. Yeah. Has he been paying his rent regularly before? Coordinator of the of your Northeast Health Center, Mrs. Isoke Agbogun, said Osas Isaac tested positive for COVID-19 and was treated before he was discharged. So when he came out, he called me. The man said that uh, there's no job for him again. I told the chairman. The chairman came down himself. Oh, chairman. Of your Northeast Local Government Chairman, Honorable Scott Memudia. He came down. We went together with uh, Osamui. We saw the general manager and he said, that this boy is on the direct staff, is under a contractor. And they will call the contractor and, and ask him why. So the contractor said that they were using a um, seven forklift before, now they've reduced it to four. And because of COVID-19, the market has dropped. So they've been pu pushing aside some staff that is not the only one. Government at all levels have advocated the need for people not to stigmatize COVID-19 patients as the virus is not a dead sentence. And it's our view to address such persons. I'm not confirming that it's true, but however, if it is, uh, the management of his workplace should be put called to question, and then even the landlord of the house should be called to question. And I think the uh, those state government will take any such uh, institution or individual, uh, we will take them, uh, call them to order. Accusations and deniers have characterized the story of Osas Isaac. But one fact remains that the young man is not jobless and almost homeless due to the quit notice served on him by his landlord. For some persons who spoke of camera, the best thing to do is for those in authority to engage the young man in meaningful ventures because, as the saying goes, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. From Benin, Best Mbire reporting.